In today's video, it's going to be comparison between two mini bags, Chanel Mini Square or Givenchy GV3. Please guys, stay with me. Hi guys, it's Oksana. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Today I want to compare two of my mini bags. The first one is Chanel Mini in a square. It's fairly new bag to my collection and I absolutely adore this little cutie. And the second bag that I got almost at the same time, it's my Givenchy GV3 in a size mini and it's in a black with ruthenium hardware. I just want to do this quick uh, comparison uh, for the reasons that maybe you decided which bag you should um, consider to purchase in the close future. Do you want to go for Chanel or do you want to go for uh, Givenchy GV3? Both of these bags, they are approximately the same size, but let's start with the Chanel Mini. Uh, and I have Chanel Mini in a square size, so this bag measures as so uh, Chanel Mini in a square size measures uh, 7 inches in length, 3 inches in width, and about 5 inches in height. And Givenchy GV3 size mini measures just 6 inches across, same, almost like 3 inches um, in width and about four and a half inches in height. So this bag is definitely um, smaller than uh, Chanel mini square. And even the way, when I'm putting them together, you can see that this one looks uh, slightly taller. You can see it right away. When it comes to the um, width, you can see they're very very close to each other but obviously the chanel bag doesn't expand but this one it has accordion style so it can expand and uh, the height it's almost the same chanel mini just a half inches um, uh, taller compared to Givenchy gv3 when it comes to the price of both of these bags, you know, Chanel goes as a crazy with increase of their prices almost like, you know, twice a year <laughs> lately. So anyway, um, with the latest increase, Givenchy is actually twice less than Chanel in price. But the good things about Givenchy, if you like this bag, you can, if you're patient enough, you actually can get it on sale, brand new condition. So that's what I did. I purchased it from Louis Sabira Roma on uh, Black Friday and they had 30% sale of original price and then an additional 20% from the lowest price. So at the end, it's not exactly the 50% of, <laughs> you know, original price, but it's almost close to 50% of original price, roughly about 45% um, of the original price, which was like really exceptional deal. They're both obviously fantastic. Uh, I have Ch uh, Chanel Mini in the silver hardware and I have um, Givenchy GV3 in uh, ruthenium hardware, kind of antique looking um, silver hardware, so ruthenium hardware. They're both absolutely gorgeous options. GV3 obviously has a little bit more options because it has uh, attached short um, uh, chain strap, um, metal strap, which is, could be very, very useful during the evening. And it has a little bit of charm on the bag. And the crossbody strap, crossbody or shoulder uh, strap is actually detachable. So it's easily can be removed uh, and when you need to use this bag for evening. Um, in comparison, Chanel, obviously it has just the one stationary uh, strap and this strap, it can, just go like that you can use it as a crossbody or a shoulder uh, bag um, you can uh, obviously do double uh, chain when you're gonna go just across like that in this case uh, it's going to be very very short like you know if you just want to use it as a cute um, evening bag uh, but I wouldn't do that I actually don't even like the look of that but I mean it's a personal choice right at the end it's obviously the per personal choice or sometimes 
you can just kind of fasten these two little chains in the middle and you're gonna get a shorter, uh, shorter strap if you want it. Uh, but I actually like it with the long strap like that. That's the whole purpose that I got it because I want something that I can use uh, cross body, like cute little bags that I can use cross body. So at the end of the day, which one to choose? I mean, obviously it's, it's hard to say. I think Givenchy is absolutely stunning bag the only only negative about this bag i think they didn't like you cannot say that they did a mistake if they designed this bag in this way it means there was a reasoning but i wish if for just a one inch just a one inch um like you know longer in the length it would like change the whole game for this bag because what's happening the cell phone doesn't fit properly you kind of have to go across and if you're interested guys i'm gonna link my video when i did unboxing of this bag and i show um if it's actually the, how you have to put your cell phone in order to use this bag um uh, when it comes to chanel mini obviously the the cell phone uh, can fit okay if you have um, iPhone 6 7 8 it will fit you may only run into the problem when you have iPhone plus you still will be able to fit but you obviously cannot fit with the with the cover otherwise like I have a Samsung right now it fits uh, perfectly so I have no trouble whatsoever and, um, it saddens me to say that I most likely have to return this little cutie because i love this bag so very much but you don't want to spend over a thousand of dollars and then you cannot even fit your cell phone inside the bag i absolutely adore this bag if you have smaller size cell phone and you're looking for a mini bag this is gorgeous gorgeous little item and I think you will be in absolute love and what I like also is that the the leather is very very soft and supple absolutely gorgeous um, bag but if you're into larger cell phones then it's definitely not the bag for you or you have to go size small because size small is significantly bigger than size medium and obviously you're not gonna have any problem so the mini seems to me didn't work out for me unfortunately but i'm very very strongly considering size small because right now i like you know looked at this bag i touched it and i actually uh, like the way it uh, looks all together and um, most likely I will be considering a uh, size small and maybe it's going to be on my wish list for 2019. So this was the quick video, um, somewhat comparison between my Chanel Mini and my uh, Givenchy um, uh, G3. I hope guys that you like it. If you had any questions or if you have any questions, please uh, do not hesitate put your questions uh, below I will gladly answer all your questions if it's uh, to my knowledge um, if you like the video please don't forget to give me thumbs up I really enjoy getting your thumbs up and if you somewhat like my channel in general and you want to see me again please consider subscribing I hope to see you again on my channel and until our next meeting bye bye